I have been associated with churches for 65 years. It is my personal opinion and experience that most religious organizations do not teach the truth on how to have eternal life. This video will show you a simple way to determine whether your organization teaches the truth or not. But first, we got to cover a few basic truths. You are saved by grace. You cannot be saved by works. And eternal life is a free gift. Now, that's all covered in two very important verses, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, which says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can also look at Romans chapter 6, verse 23, once again emphasizing that eternal life is a free gift, and the way you receive this gift is by believing on Jesus. That's in John chapter 1, verse 12. Before I go on, we've got to make sure everybody knows what the word saved means. That means you're saved from your sins, the consequences of your sins. You're saved from hell. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 says this, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right, two sets of verses I want to look at that are key in determining whether your religious organization teaches the truth or not. First, John 6, 47. Very direct and simple verse. Jesus speaking. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Next set of verses. Acts chapter 16, verse 30, 31. The most direct question and answer in the Bible on how to be saved. And it says, And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Both those verses, the object of your faith is Jesus. Jesus did all the work on the cross, and he should be the object of your faith for eternal life. But false teachers do not have Jesus as the object of your faith. False teachers have the lost person performing and doing things. Now, I did a video on this. It's video number 86 called Doctrines of Devils. It goes over 11 popular false teachings out there today. Please review that. But I will go over one just to give you an example of what I'm talking about. There is a false teaching out there that says that the lost person must turn from multiple sins or turn from your sins. Well, all that is is they're trying to get the lost person to clean up their life. That is works. Now, the truth is a lost person must turn from one sin to be saved, and that is unbelief in Jesus. Okay, how could you find out whether your religious organization teaches the truth? Well, you need to get a spokesperson. Uh, for your organization, somebody with authority to tell you what they teach, and just ask them these two simple questions. What does this religious organization or what does this church teach is necessary to have everlasting life? Well, that reflects back to John 6, 47. Believe on Jesus. That's the answer that that person should give you. You can also ask them this question. What does this, what does this religious organization teach is necessary to be saved? Well, that reflects back to Acts 16, 30, 31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Those are the answers you're looking for. Bottom line, 65 years of experience. Most religious organizations do not teach the truth on how to have eternal life, and I have shown you an easy way to determine whether your religious organization teaches the truth.